Hey friends, it's Laurie. Today I'm making a bird bath and three bird feeders. I always love watching the birds and I had so much fun crafting these. I'm making the bird bath and bird feeder for my friend's small apartment balcony. And my two other feeders I made with Dollar Tree supplies and I'm hanging those at my house. I hope you enjoy crafting with me, so let's get busy. Getting started for the feeder part, I'm using one of the Dollar Tree's plastic toothbrush and cup holders. This already has drainage holes in the bottom, so you don't have to worry about adding any. On the back, there are two suction cups and a holder, and I removed all three. There are now two hangers on the back, and I'm attaching these to a piece of wood. I'm using one of the Dollar Tree bamboo cutting boards, and mine measures eight and a half by six inches. If your Dollar Tree doesn't carry them, you can always use a similar piece of wood. I'm drilling two holes in the top for my hanger, and then drilling two holes that match up with the hangers on my cup. Attaching my two pieces together, I'm using some E6000. I added some between the two lower holes, then centered the cup, making sure the hanger holes lined up. When that was complete, I then let it set up overnight. The next morning, the cup was attached firmly in place. I'm adding a perch to each side and I'm using the wooden handle from an old sponge brush. I separated the two pieces and then evenly cut the handle in half. To help hold both of them in place once they're attached, I'll be using some painter's tape. I'm adding some E6000 under the front cutout then tucking up and under my half wooden perch. To make sure it doesn't move out of place, I'm attaching a piece of painter's tape on the top and the bottom. When that's complete, I'm then following the same instructions for the other side. I then waited for the glue to dry before I removed the tape. When I pulled the tape off, I did notice there's a tiny bit of glue residue under the perch, but it doesn't affect the feeder. I'm using some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope as an accent and also as my hanger. The two ends of the rope are wrapped to prevent them from unraveling. On one end, I'm adding a piece of clear tape. I'm wrapping it around and pulling it together as tightly as possible. I'm now using this end of the rope. I'm placing it through the back of my feeder on the lower right hand hole. I'm making sure to push enough through and wrapping it around the front of my feeder, then taking the end and pushing it through the next hole. I cut away the extra length of rope on the back and then once again, using a clear piece of tape, I wrap that around the end to prevent it from unraveling. I added some E6000 to the front of the seed cup to hold the rope in place. When I was done, I added on a piece of painter's tape so that the rope didn't move out of place. To attach the rope tails on the back, I added on some E6000, folded them over, and then added on a piece of painter's tape. I'm placing it aside to dry, and now I'm making a sign for my bird feeder. Using one of the Dollar Tree wooden planks, I'm cutting mine to five inches. Then using my white acrylic paint, I gave the front a coat. This step is completely optional, and if you don't want to add a sign to your feeder, just omit this step. When the paint was dry, I printed out the words Birdie Banquet on my Cricut and centered it on the middle of my sign. If you don't have a Cricut, the alphabet letters from the Dollar Tree, they will work great too. I found its placement on the front of my feeder, 
and attached it with some E6000. Some people have asked how long do the feeders last and I always bring mine in during inclement weather, you know, if it's rain or there's crazy wind and that definitely prolongs the feeder's life. To cast a little shade on my feeder, I'm using one of the yellow children's hats from the Dollar Tree. You can always leave the little flower on it. I removed mine because I'm adding on some sunflowers. I found the hat's placement over the top of my feeder. Then using my scissors, I poked a hole through the top two holes and through the hat. To add my hanger, I'm now using a taped end of my nautical rope and I'm sliding it through one of the holes that I made in the hat. I'm now taking the same rope end and feeding it through the top front hole on my feeder. I made sure to pull enough through and then I tied it into a tight knot. From there, I then decided how long I wanted my hanger to be and then followed the same instructions for the other side. When I cut the hanger rope, I did tape off the end to help prevent it from fraying. To help hold my hanger in place, I'm first adding on some hot glue and then following it up with E6000. The hot glue will set it up quickly and the E6000 will hold it permanently. With the hanger's knots permanently in place, I'm now sliding down the hat and finding its placement. I'm turning the hat over, making sure to hold it in place. Just like the knots, I'm adding on some E6000 and then I'm following it up with some hot glue. Once again, the hot glue will set it up quickly and the E6000 will hold it permanently. I'm adding on two sunflower accents. I had these on hand. One small and one's just a little bit smaller. Starting with my smaller flower, I shortened up the inside stem, added on some E6000 and some hot glue. I then quickly added it to the center of my feeder cup and held it in place until the hot glue cooled. For my larger sunflower, I'm folding over the top of the hat and I'm centering it over the smaller sunflower and I'm just popping the end through the open work on the hat. I then added some E6000 behind the sunflower and the fold. To make sure the stem of the flower doesn't pull through, I added some hot glue underneath to help hold that in place. To finish up and get it ready for my birds, I just added in some seed and you can either hang this on a tree or hang it from a chain. I actually tried both and my birds loved it. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking on the little red subscribe button below and leaving me a thumbs up. And to all my returning friends, you know I'm always so happy to see you. I'm making a bird bath for my friend's apartment balcony. She needs something that will fit in a small space, so I'm recycling this heavyweight candle holder. It's super heavy, it measures eight and a half inches tall, and I picked it up at a yard sale for a dollar. 
You'll need something heavy that won't tip over. You can always use the base of a lamp, fill it with sand, or something that's a heavy metal. Because I'll be attaching two pieces of glass together, I'm using some sandpaper and just roughing up the top of my candle holder. Adding on some light scratches will help the glue attach the two pieces together. The top of the base is flat, along with the hole in the candle well. I'm adding on a little design using the blue glass gems from the Dollar Tree. I'm adding E6000 into the candle well, placing in one of the gems, I'm then adding more E6000 and placing in a second gem. To make the design, I'm now adding my blue gems to the top. Now that I have them in place, I'm permanently attaching them with my E6000. Once in place, I then set it aside and let it set up overnight. For the bird bath basin, I'm using a 10 and a half inch clear glass plate from the Dollar Tree. After removing the sticker from the back, I gave it a good washing with my Dawn dish soap. Attaching the two pieces together is super easy. I added E6000 to the top of the candle well and then centered my plate. I also found a flat rock that I'll be placing in the basin. It gives the birds a place to perch while they clean off or take a drink. With the bird bath drying, I'm now crafting my friend's bird feeder. For the base of my bird feeder, I'm using a heavyweight metal candle holder. I actually found this a while back at the Goodwill and I used it for another project. I'll have that video linked below in case you'd like to check it out. And after it being bounced around in a box for a while, it's kind of beat up. So I'm going to recycle it and use it for my bird feeder base. The paint has chipped off a bit here and there, so using a piece of sandpaper, I'm smoothing down the finish. With that complete, I then wiped it off with a clean cloth. Now that it's looking good, I'm going to paint it with some of my blue spray paint. Now that it's completely dry, I'm going to be adding on one of the plastic garden dishes from the Dollar Tree. But before I add it, I'm drilling four small drainage holes in the bottom. It did have some sticker residue that was difficult to get off. So all I did was spray it with some inexpensive vegetable oil. I waited about a minute and it rubbed right off. I cleaned it with my Dawn dish soap and now I'm attaching the two pieces together using my E6000. I placed a generous amount on the flat top and then centered and attached my feeder dish. I let it set up overnight and now all that's left to do is add in some bird seed. Instead of filming these on my friend's balcony, I'll be filming them at my house. I first added in the rock and then filled the basin with fresh water. I then added in the bird seed and within a few minutes I had some visitors. For my two-sided sunflower bird feeder, I'm using two of the mesh strainers and I found these in the kitchen department at the Dollar Tree. After I removed the tags, I placed the handle of my strainer in a vise 
and very slowly I bent it until it looked like a ladle. After the first one was complete, I did the same with my second. Before you bend them, it's much easier if you pop the black handles out first and then replace them when you're done. I'm attaching the two handles together and I'll be using some short pieces of my painter's tape. I'm placing the two handles together and attaching one side with my tape. I'll be using my E6000 to attach them together. I opened it up, kind of like you would a door, and then added a generous amount of E6000 to both sides. I ran the glue along the inside edge of the metal handles. When I was done, I closed it and then secured it with some tape. I let it set up overnight and then removed the tape. To wrap the handle, I'm using some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope. The two ends come wrapped and I'm going to be leaving that way and using one of them. I'm adding hot glue on one side where I had bent the strainers. I'm then adding some E6000 to the top of the glue. I then place down the wrapped end of the nautical rope. I'm adding a generous amount of E6000 on both sides of the handles. But I'm stopping when I come to the holes at the top. I'm now adding a line of hot glue around the bottom and wrapping my rope around the handles. I keep adding on hot glue and wrapping the rope until I make my way to the holes on the top. By adding the hot glue with the E6000, it will hold the rope in place while the E6000 sets it up permanently. When I come to the end, I cut the rope. I attach it to the handles using my hot glue and E6000. When I was done, I then clipped away the clear tape on the other end of the rope. I'm using four sunflowers that I had on hand and I'm snipping the stems off the back. I'm adding some hot glue on each side of the handle and following it up with some E6000. I'm then attaching my sunflowers, one on each side. For my bird feeders hanger, I'm using one of the shower rings from the Dollar Tree. They also sell a plant hanger and that will work great too. I slipped the ring through the two holes on the top to make my hanger. I added in some bird seed and I hung it outside. Here we are at the end of the video and I really hope you had fun crafting these bird feeders and bird bath with me. People always ask me, how do you keep the squirrels off the feeders? And honestly, I don't have an answer. Mine hang in a fenced yard and I have three dogs, so they usually don't come to visit. 
And to be honest, I love all of Mother Nature's animals, so I don't really mind if once in a while one shows up. If you had fun and you're thinking you'd like to come back and hang out with me again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. If you enjoy watching the birds like I do, I'll have some other bird related videos linked below. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye everybody!